Welcome to the Whiskey Vaults. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. Today we've got a gift from uh, the Titan of Whiskey, William Shepard. Daniel, in the distance, do you hear it's, it? It's <laughs> Yes, I do hear it. Don't know what that is. Uh, this is a uh, Stranahan's, which is, you know, they've been doing malt whiskey in Colorado for like a decade. Have they always or had more. the flat back on the bottom? No, I did think this is a little bit newer. Yeah, yeah they got a flat back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some look flat right back. here. I've never seen the flat back. Here's the flat. other one Round? that's more of like flat. That's just like a wine yeah. bottle, but it has a little bit of an angle. I love how on their stickers they have somebody write in random comments. How fast is light speed? Yeah, but. Uh, can you imagine doing that over like 400 bottles? Come up with something clever and then write it 600 times. Yeah. You're going to get over being clever real quick. <laughs> um, okay, this is an interesting one though. So this spent four years in a 53 gallon. So this is malt whiskey, right? Yeah. Four years, four years old. Then they combined a bunch of barrels into a fooder, like the giant wine barrel. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then they withdraw some of it bottle it yeah. and put new whiskey into it and they keep doing that remember what that is that is uh so it's like uh the barrel it's like a wine process yeah um, what's it called solera cask. Yeah, solera cask yeah so they call this their solera cask process which i still haven't figured out how you can call that <laughs> but so it doesn't matter beautifully whiny with the fruit notes oh it's this fruit explosion this is yes. not an actual wine finish yeah right yeah. it's just a, the barrel is a, it's a wine yeah. barrel it's not a wine barrel. It's not a wine barrel. No, it's, it's just a size. It's, it's just a size. Why am I'm getting like the fruitiness? No, that's the malt, baby. That's the malt. Yeah, dude. This is up is, there with like Balcona's lineage. That is one of the fruitiest malts I've ever had. Like, oh yeah. I'm thinking, oh, this definitely picked up some red wine, rich, sweet fruits. And you're saying no. Nope. Nothing to do with wine. It wasn't nope. a used wine giant barrel. Nope. This is the fruitiness coming from the malt. That's impressive. That's even more impressive. Oh, that is just apricots and uh, ch and almost cherry. I got um, um, peach, like an oaky. It's a, it's the cross between a simple syrup and a honey. Mm, yeah, yeah, like you yeah, combine yeah. simple syrup L and honey like with a some oakiness. honeysuckle, almost. This is up there with Deanston for me, and like that honeysuckle fruit sweetness. Yeah, I think I'm getting more, uh, more liveliness, more punch than a Deanston. Yeah. There's, it seems like it's There's a little dense. dryness to the end of this. Yeah. It's almost uh, like a woody, what is oaky, spicy vibe. The proof on the Stranahan's Blue Peak single malt whiskey, 43%. Okay. The nose is beautiful. Yeah, it's lovely. There's the... Ooh. It's beautiful, mild. Man, that would just... You said mild? That would... Yeah. But then... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. The oil is coming back. Yeah. It sort of went down like butter for me. And then now I was gonna say, it's unfolding. I was gonna say a vanilla cream mm -hmm. that has so much fruitiness. Mm -hmm. The fruit is just pummeling this vanilla cream note into submission. But the mm -hmm. vanilla cream is like, no, no, no. I got this. No. Oh, no. wow. Dude, that is. That's exceptional. That is almost Space Side Scotch. Like, yeah. if you told me this was Space Side Scotch, I would pick a, not the malt version, the malt forward granola version, uh -huh. but like the fruity dominant version. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. I think the thing that is the most not space id is I am getting a nice amount of oakiness. Yeah, a little pepper. Yeah. It's almost black pepper. And you don't get that in pretty much any space side I can think of. Yeah, it's kind of zingy at the very, very end. Yeah. 
the wood if like if you if you like space side but you wish you could have like a little bit of like a wood character wrapping around all that. I don't know, man. I'm gonna pour you a Deanston because I have the same memory of Deanston doing that. This has some more zesty, more lively, more densely concentrated with the sweetness. Deanston, I think this is going to be It's more earthy. More I was gonna say more soft, natural mm. vanilla. Mm -mm. Less fruity. It's more earthy, but same fruit. Yeah, and it's a little more bitey. So it's even more pepper zesty at the end because a little bit of that peat. But it's got the same fruit. Bomb you think the middle. Deanston's more bitey? Mm hmm. On the tail end, yes. Man, no, no. I'm getting, and not bitey in terms of ethanol mm -mm. layer. Pepper or. Yeah. It's, no. Um, this has got that what, peat little zing. What's the proof on the Deanston? Uh, 46. 46. So that's. Higher proof mm -hmm. than this. Man, that Stranahan's is... I'm getting more flavor. Just, if we're talking about a general amount mm -hmm. of a generic term called flavor. Wait, what, what do you I'm mean? getting, this is my Stranahan's. Okay. I'm getting more flavor. From the Stranahan's. From the Stranahan's. Me too. Yeah. I agree. This is just more of a classic Stranahan's malt. Uh-huh. Right? I wanted to see. It's like a, a more of a sweet tea. Some lemon in there. Yep. Gotta say, this is just kicking ass. Yeah. I mean, that's good, but that. Yeah. That is a great whiskey. Wow. I like it. You and I were talking. I mean, definitely, if you, if you would prefer a space side, this is more home turf. You uh, and I were talking yesterday um, about Colorado. Yeah. And the amount of like really good stuff coming out, like Stranahan's, yeah. Deer Hammer. Yep. Uh, There's a couple more at least. Oh yeah. Yeah, that um They're doing good shit. Damn. 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 Is this like is that like a readily available? Damn. Or I is think that just a limited edition too? It's you? relatively limited, but I've seen it in Austin too. Okay. I don't know if it's in Austin at scale. Okay. But I've seen it. Yeah, I like the hell out of that. Brian mm -hmm. Mills whiskey exploration is an expensive hobby. Yep. Mm -hmm. I hesitate to think how much I have spent on the last five years to experience the bottles and pours I've experienced. Don't think about it. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were having conversations about this. At one point, I was wondering, like, we had to do insurance recently, like, renew our insurance. And I was like, I really need to start including this. Not telling them what it is. Right. <laughs> Just telling them how much money we would lose if this room failed somehow. Yeah, just fell In off. any way, or if, like, fire or anything. And I started looking at the numbers of these, and I'm like, oh, man. You know what we don't need on the Balcones Escarpment? An earthquake? Yeah. yeah, we'd be screwed. <laughs> half of Texas just slid screwed, into the Gulf. Screwed, yeah. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, like half the state's underwater, but really the main thing yeah. is the whiskey. <laughs> Scott Forsyth. Forsyth. Uh, yeah. So you can't tell a whiskey scotch unless it's made... Can't call, call a whiskey scotch unless it's made in Scotland. Irish unless it's made in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Bourbon unless it's made in the USA. We are allowed to use single malt... Rye or corn anywhere right. in the world, but what is a bourbon style whiskey called? Is it not if it is it, not made in the USA? Yeah, it's I not love the whiskey. idea of that. Now, uh, you know who is so the only person I know did everything in the parameters of bourbon, but outside of the US. Right. The only person I know who did this in a big brand way was Crown Royal did a bourbon mash, mm -hmm. and that's where they did things closer to the way that bourbon's made. But it wasn't the same. Um, I would love to see somebody in Ireland and Scotland. New doing new oak yeah. and a and a mixed mash bill mm -hmm. in the fer from fermenter on from Mostly mash corn, and fermentation on. It's like 120, 125. Barrels yeah, and keep proof. it low. So and yeah, you could even pot still it. Um, that would be fascinating. I don't know anybody doing it yet. Damn the strain of hands though. The strain what? of hands though. The strain of hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think this is probably a good example of uh, distilleries that are still big, but they're not. You know. Wild Turkey, mm -hmm. Crown, Jack Daniels, like the behemoths out there. Right. But the moment you start getting into whiskey, then you, you want to be able to find something that's interesting that feels like it's off the beaten path. Yep. But you want to, you know, if it doesn't have good distribution, you're not going to get it. I think this is a really nice, impressive, mid-tier brand. Yep. Not giant, but the quality is there to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any of the biggest whiskey makers out there. Mm -hmm. Super good stuff. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. Damn it. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. Steal, may you steal. And if you drink, may you drink with us.